dude. No. It's a hutch, dude. No. Oh my gosh. It's short, isn't it? Check out who I found, guys. Clayton has decided to grace us with his presence today. Between college and work and all that fun stuff he hasn't been able to get out with us, life kind of hits you like a ton of bricks oh, sometimes. Really <laughs> so for those of you that are wondering, you are enrolled at the University of Alabama, we're about to be, right? Okay. So roll tide. Roll tide. <laughs> He's pretty busy. He's going to school to be, or to learn about accounting and all that kind of stuff. That way he can be my business manager for adventure archaeology. Right. <laughs> right. That'd be nice. We're out at a creek today, and when we say we're out in the middle of nowhere, we are out in the middle of nowhere. This used to be a swimming hole. It used to be an old town. There's a lot of stuff going on here. We've been here once or twice in the past together. Both times we found some interesting items. You may remember when we found the barrel in the bottom of the creek. That was in this creek. So let's go see what we can find. Is that bugs? Something. I don't know. Pollen bugs? Something. Something not good for you. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> So we're walking along and right out of that tree limb fell a snake. And I was just telling him that the last couple of weeks I've been getting close to the trees and the snakes just kind of jump out and into the water. You would think that they would hang out, especially considering they're way above. But uh, for some reason they think it's a good idea to jump in the water with you. They want to eat you. How cold is this water? Very cold. Very cold? About 55 degrees. <laughs> And to be fair, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, so it hadn't had time to warm up today. It's not the cold 98 that it's supposed to be yet. Yeah, it's supposed to be mid 90s today, 97, 98 degrees. But if you wait till then, it uh, the sun's kind of different. So we, we try to pick like when we walk down where the sun's not directly overhead, when we walk back, the sun will be more above us and give us a better viewpoint. He's got a bottle, let's see what he's got. Let's see it. Oh, I see it. There's another one. Oh, no, that's a stick. That's a painted label one. Oh. We're in a spot where there's some pretty rare 1915, so anytime you see a hobble skirt. You get excited. Yeah. It's worth a shot. Oh, wow. I don't even want to put these on. Yep. Oh, it was, oh it was like a uh, pitcher. Nice, nice pitcher. Wow. Probably turn of the century. Yeah, that's definitely. That would have sat in like a platter next to the bed stand. Mm -hmm. That would look nice too with that cobalt coloring. That is beautiful. Well, that tells you the, and see what comes out. That tells you the age of the stuff where we're at. Let's see it. You pull it? Yeah, pull it. Nope, nope it's not, not a jar. <laughs> that is an old beer. Yep. Same That's thing machine on the made, no. That's like a AB Co. 20s or maybe 20s to 40s. Still got a good color to it though. Oh, those Good have looking. that real nice aqua tint to them for sure. Those are all in here. Apparently these people like to drink beer on the street. That's, that's all they did back in the day, man. <laughs> yeah. They they drink and play checkers. Oh, that big old, I don't know, whiskey? What's wine? the bottom look like? That is big. That would have been some big whiskey or bourbon. Yeah. Or More alcohol. Did that's they leak? Yeah. <laughs> or you just can't see? No, that's leaked. We got to buy some good glass or goggles. <laughs> I've only had these in the car for three years. <laughs> Time to break them out, right? Yeah. Well, I left my good ones for me diving last year in the back of my truck like an idiot. Oh, and so sad. mine's sun bleached out. That's and a good pair of goggles is not cheap nowadays. Dude, no. It's a hutch, dude. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. It's short, isn't it? What is Nothing. It? Nothing? No <laughs> way. <laughs> How does that happen? <laughs> of course, the one that I it find. It is perfect. The one that I find would have nothing. The stoppers in it, it's intact. I've never found a black hutch, have you? No. But now I have. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I saw something that looked weird. Golly. Really? We were just what? talking about finding a coke hutch too. Yeah, that we're like, well, with it being short, I got a little bit more excited. I was like, oh, it's a short one. It ain't man, gonna be dude. one of the long, uh, the tall ones. Gah! Nothing. He saw it. He's like, man, I think that's a good one. I said, let me get the camera on. Well, we missed it on the way down. We have we have literally walked what a mile. Yeah, we mile easy mile. 
and uh, didn't see it. So. I'll turn the camera around. This is how bad I'm sweating. <laughs> I, w I wasn't smart enough to uh, to just wear shorts like Clayton. I put on my my waders, and uh, now I'm paying for it. He's getting chased by horse flies, though. Yes, yes, I am. It's <laughs> nice and cold in here, though. I'll tell you that much. Golly, dude, that's a good sign, though. It is. And we're actually way further down than where we thought there may be something that old. So Correct. now we just got to look that much harder on the way back. This is what we call. This is terrible. This is what this is what we call evasive maneuvers. Jesus. <laughs> you're gonna have to go back. You're gonna have to go back underwater. <laughs> oh, you sent him to me. Now he's swarming I told me. Ah. Y'all gonna hear it. Ah. I can't go underwater though. <laughs> All right. There's a whiskey right here. I'm getting the cans and you're getting it. Yeah. I don't know if it's good or not. It, it could be as big as it is. Oh, nope. Screw top. Ah. The horse flies were too much. We're packing up. I'm getting everything put back into the truck. Sadly, Clayton's got to go home, but I'm going to be heading back out to the creek tomorrow with Randy. So I'll catch y'all then. What'd you find over here? Uh, in very good condition. Wow. You know what it says, yeah. What's it say on the hill down there? That's a Columbus, Georgia. So that's where Cherokee originated. It's not a swirl, so we know that it's going to be pre 1923. That's probably going to be like between 1912 and 1920. Oh, yeah. So that's a really good bottle. And that's something that I walked over not just a week ago. So how about that? You're getting me back. I owed you one. Yeah. You did. <laughs> Show me that bucket you got there. That thing's kind of interesting. Turn it around. Something I came up with the... The original man purse. I think exploring Alabama might like that. <laughs> I came up with the idea of it because I had so many of these buckets from work. My <laughs> wife does a lot of craft work on cricket and stuff. And she printed that out for me put it on there. Well, there you go. Well, we've done silted the water up right here, but we're going to spend some time today actually raking in the bottom of the creek. And we're hoping that we're going to find something pretty good here. The last time I was here was in the previous week's video, and y'all saw me find a pretty good bit of bottles. And I told Randy, I said, I feel like we can rake around in the bottom of this one and find something good. So we'll find out here shortly. So Randy's got in a little trash pile right here. And he's been wanting to find one of these Buffalo Rock, the bowling pin style. And they're embossing on these things all but wears away but you can see it right there and they're a really cool bottle to have sadly that one's broken he did pull out a 1923 christmas coke with the neck gone yep. but like i told him that's always a good drinking glass candidate so as you can see i was telling him when we got in here this stuff right here just does not move when you stir it up you can't see so it's almost like you got to walk downstream and come back up but i'd say that we're in a pretty good spot to start raking here in just a minute all right we got a bottle right down here it looks like it's a hobble skirt. I can't tell if it's broken or if it's got a shell on the lip. Let's see together. Ah, oh, it's broken. It is a Christmas Coke as well from Birmingham. And it's in really good shape. That's because it's been buried for a long time and it's just been washed out. So I'll keep that one. It'll be a good drinking glass. Let's keep going and see what else we can find. Let's see a Coke in here. It's probably going to be broken the way that it's sitting in between all these rocks. Oh, that it is. It's another Christmas Coke from Birmingham. That bottler just literally dumped these right off into here whenever they were through with them. I guess it was probably a discontinued run and they said, okay, we're going to change styles to the Pat D bottle. And away went all of these. Still, that's a, a good drinking glass for me. We'll take it for sure. All right, I spotted a pocket knife in the crack down here, and I think I'm gonna go swimming for it. Looks like it's a stainless one. Looks like a Kershaw style. If it is, it's a good knife. Uh, maybe a cheap one. No, it is a Kershaw. Look at that, I called it from the top. That's a good knife. May have to soak it for a little while. But those aren't cheap, or at least they didn't used to be. All right, y'all gotta see this crawfish right here. Check this out. Been a while since we found one of these. My daughter loves them. And I've got a mason jar full of them. Nice blue color. Look how this bottle's sticking out right there, guys. Literally, it's just sticking out on the sidewall. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a broken Coke. It was a 1915, though. It's like right here. Come on this way. 
right here. Look in front of you right here to your left a little bit. I got you. See it? And you got some good bottle eyes. <laughs> oh, Cherokee. Cherokee, where's it from? What's it say on there? On the hill? Got Leeds on there or Birmingham? Birmingham. Birmingham. The other one you got was Columbus, Georgia, right? Yep. Take that one then. Huh? You don't have one of those, take that one. I got three or four. Sure. Yep. All right, there's a bottle right there, it looks like. Oh, it's whole. All right. And it's a Leeds. Heck yeah. Chero City today, guys. Just got a Leeds. A Leeds Cherokee. That's a good one, guys. I've been on these for a while. Seems like this spot right here just holds a ton of them. Where's the bottle at? Can y'all see it? All that's sticking out is the neck. Ah, it's a whole hobble skirt. Let's see if we can get the date off of it. Hey, finally. It's a Pat D, though. <laughs> Can you get a date off of it? It's got a nice, a nice interior build up in it. Well, grab your other one while you're up there. Yeah, that was a, that's a 1923 that's whole. Oh man, it! Another Leeds. one of those leads. Chipped. But still, that's a good, tough bottle. Congratulations on that one, man. That's a uh, fantastic bottle that not very many people have found. I didn't even see that one under the bank. Yeah, I, I walked across over here to see what he had. Here you go, that one's complete, and that's a 23. There's another one right there, you see it? Yep. Yeah. broken. Yeah. Another Chero. Just grab this 10, 2, and 4 Dr. Pepper. It's nicely debossed from Birmingham, Alabama. That's going to be a really nice bottle once it's tumbled. I know a lot of people think we don't find dark pepper very often, and we really don't, surprisingly. It could be because the creeks that we target are in primarily older areas, but that's a nice bottle. Well, you lose it? It's like noodling for bottles, isn't it? You got to reach your hand down there in the mud and hope something don't bite it. <laughs> oh, you got it. You got it. Oh, it's a new grape, isn't it? He's literally just sticking his hand in the mud at this point. I was going to say, you're a little desperate. You've done been bit by that bottle bug. I'm coming your way if I don't fall off in this abyss to our side over here. Probably a Birmingham. Uh, no, please. Oh, that's even better. Wow. I don't even see a chip. A little, little bit of chip. A little tiny chip from here bottom. That's a good one, man. I don't know that I've ever found one of those that complete. It was worth uh, wrestling the mud over there, huh? There's another one in here somewhere. This is not what I saw. We've done lost it in this <laughs> soupy mess. Yeah, I got you. Oh, yeah. Nice one. That one should have that patent date on the bottom. It says chat 24 on the hill, but there's a patent date right down there. Yep, there's the patent date of 1920, March 1920. I think it's the 8th or the 9th. But from being from Leeds, that makes it a very, very, very tough bottle, by the way. Congratulations on that one, too. All right, guys, I'd say we had a pretty good day. I don't have the bottles that Clayton found with me. He put them in the car whenever he left, but I do have what me and Randy found laid out right here. There are a ton of those 1915 and 23s that are broken, but those are all gonna be good drinking glass candidates. The standouts of the day though, are going to be that whole Birmingham Chero, the whole Leeds Chero, the Dr. Pepper, the new grape from Leeds, which is a really tough one. There's a whole 1923, and of course, Randy's Leeds Circle Slug, which is a very rare, tough bottle in the 100 to $200 range without damage. So overall, we had a good day. I did find two of those signs too. They're pretty roached, but I went ahead and took them out of the creek. And of course, the Kershaw knife. So if y'all enjoyed the adventure, be sure that you're subscribed and we'll catch you guys in next week's video.